Daniel Craig goes to gay bars. But the thing is, he's not gay. You might be asking, why is Burger talking about something that a Hollywood celebrity does? Has he finally sunk down to the level of Hollywood gossip rag, as was always obvious he would eventually become? Look, uh, the, I've seen like two James Bond movies, the one where he plays Hungry Hungry Hippos with Mads Mikkelsen, and the one with the angry computer nerd. I don't even know if Daniel Craig is actually English, and I will not take the three second Google search to find out because I really don't care. This whole thing spawned from a conversation on my Discord server where someone posted a meme about how uh, the latest incarnation of James Bond something something Doctor Who is a Time Lord, uh, Daniel Craig, prefers going to gay bars over straight bars. And it's the reason that he brought up that really just, it resonated with me to such an extent. And the reason of course is that Daniel Craig is such an incredible Chad Sigma male that he has transcended the need for women and really had just wants to be in an environment where there aren't any of them anymore. He has retreated to an entirely male space where there are no biatches to ruin his vibe. is what you might think, but it turns out it's actually the exact opposite of this. Daniel Craig goes to gay bars not because there aren't any women there, but because there aren't any straight men there looking for pussy. And you know what? He's kind of fucking right. At no point are men more obnoxious and just vile than when they think they are competing for pussy. Bars, nightclubs, all those kinds of establishments, let's be honest, the primary reason the overwhelming majority of men go there is to be on the prowl for pussy. And you know, conversely, there are of course a lot of women who are there who are on the prowl for dick. However, uh, I feel like, relatively speaking, there are a lot less Women there are there for that reason than the, uh, you know, the equivalent reason for men. More of them are there to just have fun, you know, if, if dance the cocktails, drink to the music. It should be obvious why few women, relatively speaking, are going to these kinds of establishments looking to go home with a complete stranger while in a vulnerable state of intoxication that same night. Imagine right now you're Daniel Craig, right? Incredibly handsome, accomplished, professional, very charismatic, I assume, because that's what he does for a living. Really just thick bank account. You're out to have a good time, have a couple drinks, make some human connections with other people that are interesting. But then there's these guys who are there because they're kind of like looking for women to fuck. And to them it's a competition for specifically like the top 1% of the hottest women. In business terms, we might call this whale hunting, but obviously that's a very inappropriate word to describe what is actually going on, given that it does not convey the right meaning, as it were. They want to fuck those hot women. They re that's the whole- they dressed up for this reason. But then they see you, famous actor Daniel Craig, in the room, and they think to themselves, the only person that all of these women could possibly be interested in in this room is famous actor Daniel Craig. And because obviously they can't compete with you in the dominance hierarchy, the only way that they can end up being the ones who fuck the hot women tonight is to eliminate you as competition. Thus starts the just incessant game of one-upsmanship just shitting on each other for no reason other than this misguided, smooth-brained idea that women will be immensely attracted to a man that can show dominance over an alpha male prize mega guy like Daniel Craig. And let me tell you, if you are anywhere to just have a good time, that kind of shit is unbelievably tedious to deal with. You didn't come here to get pussy, you came here to have a drink and talk to interesting people. And the whole dominance hierarchy bullshit isn't how 90% of the women in the room are seeing the situation. The reason our pussy-seeking missile isn't fucking the hot woman that was eyeing him from like three tables over is because instead of, you know, talking to her, he was busy all night playing some sort of vaguely homoerotic dominance game with famous actor Dan 
Daniel Craig. Not only is this unbelievably childish, it also is literally the opposite of the thing that you need to do in order to get what you want. And this very much is not limited to like bars and clubs and spaces with like vague acquaintances or, you know, total strangers. Sometimes friends that you have will bully you because they think you are competing for a piece of pussy. Just completely nice guys, good buddies, your bros will become unbelievable assholes if there is a woman present that they find remotely fuckable who they suspect might find you remotely fuckable. And this is unbelievably annoying to someone who is just trying to have a good time. The worst thing is I see this happening pretty much everywhere in male-dominated spaces. Look, there is a reason why incel types don't want women to partake in their hobby and it is not just because they hate women. We're gonna be talking about an entirely ordinary group of fellas just playing D&D or Warhammer and then a woman enters the group and the whole dynamic immediately changes. It's just not the fault of the woman that this is happening because the people who actually change the way that they behave are all of the guys. Now, if we're gonna talk, you know, the terminology and ethics and fault and what have you in this kind of situation, we also have to be frank and admit that, of course, it also isn't necessarily the fault of the men that they are acting in this particular way. They are just acting out the gender roles that they have been taught by patriarchy are the thing that they need to do in this particular situation. But in practical terms, it do be the men who be acting crazy, especially with regard to women in male-dominated spaces because they feel like there is a scarcity of those. There's just not that many women in male-dominated spaces. That's kind of why they're male-dominated spaces, like definitionally speaking. And many male-dominated spaces, especially the ones where you have a lot of guys who feel like they are at the bottom of the social pecking order, are full of men who think that there is a general scarcity of women in their lives and they can't get any. So when there's a woman that sh shares the hobby that they have, it's like vultures circling immediately. And really, the main thing you will probably accomplish by this is to ha make the woman run away. Because as flattering as it can be to receive attention from people, nobody likes to feel like there's vultures circling overhead. And it'll fuck up the experience for everyone else too, all the guys that are at the table. There's so much like finessing going on, outmaneuvering people to get pussy. It's honestly, it's not only pathetic, it's so fucking irritating. I'm just here to fuck an imaginary dragon because that is what my bard character would do so you're not allowed to say anything against it. I'm role-playing. I'm not here to soak up all the real-life pussy juice like some sort of alpha male sponge. But ironically, of course, uh, treating women like they're human beings and not being a massive dick to your friends because you want to fuck said women is kind of what women actually look for in a guy. So, you know, that makes the whole social dominance hierarchy a sort of self-fulfilling prophecy. Oftentimes, the guy who is perceived as the alpha male is the guy who just is treating everyone like they're human beings. And also, very crucially, doesn't think of himself as an alpha male because he understands that that is a completely bullshit concept based in literally no science at all. And look, I get it. When you're down bad, and we have all been down bad, we can freely admit this, that we've all been there, lonely and desperate, it's easy to fall back onto the gender roles and behaviors that have been imprinted onto us since we were little boys. They are unbelievably toxic, they don't help us at all, but they are familiar, they are an effective cope and a good reason not to grow as people, which can be an extremely scary prospect. God forbid we treat ourselves with some level of self-respect 
or think of ourselves as having some sort of inherent value outside of some sort of imagined external validation through fictional status. But this is how we have been conditioned to think by patriarchal gender norms, and it is causing men a lot of suffering. We are victims of these social norms, and we victimize each other to abide by them. And also, let's not forget this, there is a small number of women who also expect us to abide by these gender norms. It's just not the overwhelming majority of them. And apparently, according to famous actor Daniel Craig, going to gay bars is a very good way to escape that cycle. Thank you very much for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, share this to your relevant communities, but do not spam them. Consider supporting me on Patreon or subscribe star, buy some of my merchandise or my short story collection. And in that spirit, just chill, yo. It's really, honestly, the reason probably you're not fucking is because you don't love and respect yourself. This straight up, it sounds incredibly dumb, but once you have gotten into the practice of actually being that kind of person, it will make a lot of sense to you. And see you around, cunts.